James McIntosh is the director and the chairman of the audit committee of GTA Resources and Mining Inc. Jamie, welcome to the Investor Intel Studio. Thank you, Fred. It's been a long time. We've known each other a very long time. Well, when we started working together 26 years or so ago, uh, we were sitting opposite each other on a trading desk in a boutique. You were the go-to guy as a geologist for junior mining. So I know all about your capital markets and your leadership experience in running mining companies. Let's talk about the rest of the team at GTA. So we have a very uh, solid team. Uh, we have depth of management in geology, in corporate finance, uh, legal, as well as we have uh, very strong audit uh, people in, uh, in our CFO. So I think that's one of the things that makes GTA special. I was an original shareholder and founder of, of GTA along with uh, Peter and, and Brian. And it's a solid team and everyone provides what is necessary to make this thing a success. So you, you've been going at the drill bit since 2011 in the yeah. fall. Right. And uh, you've got a nice tight share structure, so you haven't had to dilute your shareholders to raise the money. Let's talk about that for a second. So we're at about 40 million shares and about 21% is in management insiders. And there, our joint venture partner in North Shore, uh, Balmoral, has another 8%. So it's very tight. Well, share price has gone up, what, about five times this yeah. year so far? Yeah. So uh, shareholders are pretty excited about it too. Well, in the recent financings we did, which provide us with the capital that we need to not only complete the first phase of drilling, but also the follow-up drilling, was all raised at much lower prices. So I believe the shareholders that invested um, are quite happy. Since uh, the fall of 2011, you've done some drilling at uh, your main property, and that's near the Hamlow camp. Uh, tell us what you've accomplished so far. So we've done extensive drilling. Obviously, the, the results uh, which came out and drove the stock up initially were the, the work in the Afric zone. Um, the Cali vein, uh, we just re finished doing a series of, dr of impressive drill holes, about uh, over 30. And uh, they really focused on trying to delineate the near surface mineralization. The numbers are uh, absolutely spectacular. We're also going to be looking at what can we do in the way of a uh, basically a metallurgical study to see what, how the ore can be recovered. And uh, we're taking a look at seeing what it would do to basically put those two high grade veins into production. You, you have a 43101 estimate. Let's talk about where that stands now and, and how you hope to advance that. So it's about 391,000 ounces of gold in the, uh, the original 43101. We'll obviously be doing, taking this new data, uh, inputting it. Um, one of the things that was interesting in the drilling that was done was an awful lot of it had VG. And as you know, when you have a lot of VG, uh, you don't always get the, uh, the results in every hole. And that's one of the reasons why we had to do fairly tight spacing. Um, For our audience, VG, visible gold. Sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's the geologist in me. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but what it allows it is mean is when we actually do this new resource, it should be significantly higher. Jamie, the first drill results came from that October 2011 drilling program. It was in February of the next year. There were some spectacular results. The stock bounced nicely on that. You've just done some drilling earlier this summer, June, and the numbers came out recently. Um, you're going to be funded, you are funded for September drilling. What sort of flow of news are we expecting between now and the end of the year? Well, Fred, it, the really interesting thing about the results that just came out as well from the North Shore is that it really confirmed that there's some really high grade sections over four grams per ton over 20 meters. So those are some big numbers. So you've really got some great stuff there. Now it's going to be a case of doing some follow up to test the extents of some of the other veins in that area and also to just really see what we have and how big it is and, and just you know what we can actually uh, put into a um, what I would call almost a pre-feasibility study. So. Well, let's talk about Newfoundland. You uh, announced an acquisition of 100% control of a property there. Uh, it's, it's tech, tech uh, has been there for decades mining nickel. Yeah, we're really excited about that, Fred. Uh, it's a copper zinc. It's, uh, it's basically in the area of uh, Duck Pond. Um, we call it Burnt Pond. But uh, we recently staked more ground there. We're really quite excited about uh, trying to put a couple of holes into that in the fall. So I think there's a, it's a good time to be looking at uh, zinc. And so we're pretty excited. 
Jamie, back to North Shore. You're going to be drilling there in September. You've got some funding already. Uh, you got a grant, I understand? Yeah, the, the ministry was kind enough to give us a grant uh, under the Junior Exploration uh, Program, so that's uh, pretty nice. It's always good to have uh, money from the government in addition to the money from investors. Jamie, back to North Shore. Uh, it was an act of mine uh, in the 20s and 30s, and you've got a drill program that's kicking off in a couple of weeks. When can we expect to have some results? Well, so just, just briefly, Fred, it's important to note that the, the mine was mined out, but it was an average grade of over 20 grams per ton. So it was a fairly high grade mine. And as with most of the stuff that we're seeing near surface, they're rig, big fat quartz veins with VG, visible gold. And so we're gonna be obviously looking to delineate further ore between the current veins and the main vein. Um, and assuming that uh, the, the assay lab is uh, reasonable, we should see something before November. Great. Look forward to seeing the results. Thanks, Fred. Thanks.